Hey, Pastor Steve here. Revelation 21, 4 tells me he will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. I'm getting a bit older now. My mom says that's not so, but now she's sort of right. She's nearly 98. I guess you could say that. But I am bumping the lower half of 70 by a year or so, and I feel it. When I was younger, heaven, uh, there were times seemed like a real deal. And as I dealt with the lives of people and performed way, way too many funerals, I kind of let the hope of that bright place fade. Now I'm approaching the home stretch. I may have to tough it out a few more years if my family's longevity is any clue, but I'm refocusing on the wonder of what lies ahead. I sometimes still have trouble picturing uh, a beautiful place where many of my loved ones have gone. But I have a hope of seeing them one day, and I need to stop and reflect on that wonder once more. Do you? One of the greatest promises Jesus left us when he went away to his heavenly father said, I'm going to make a place for you. And if I go, I will come again and bring you back with me, bring you home. Charles Allen in Home Fire shared this little story. So about a little girl. She was uh, walking with her daddy one evening, and she looked up at the stars and said, Oh, daddy, if the wrong side of heaven is this beautiful, what must the right side be? Oh, she had a sense of the wonder, huh? Paul said it well in 1 Corinthians 2, 9. I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor has the mind conceived what God has prepared for those that love him. Spielberg can't even begin to imagine, can't even begin to imagine what God has made in his heaven like. It'll be a place of purity and holiness. There's no anything that enters in that defiles. It's a place without sin, uh, without the consequences of sin, no hatred, crime, disease, war. I won't have to post the fallen warriors every day. It's a place without sorrow and sadness or death, just joy. And by the way, in my present state of mind, I want some of that. The winter blues get me. And I can't always sense the joy, but it is real and it's coming. In heaven, we'll receive new bodies. The aches and pains will be gone, right? Uh, no more visits to the VA doctor to have her check my blood and say, well, you should probably go on meds and then forcing me to eat like I should have always been eating. <clears throat> All of the disabilities and the limits of my aging body will be gone. Uh, 1 Corinthians 15, remember Paul said, it's like with the resurrection of the dead, the body that is sown is perishable, but it's raised imperishable. Sown in dishonor, it's raised in glory. It's sown in weakness and it's raised in power. Sown a natural body and raised a spiritual body. I just can't wait. I want a fresh vision of that. But this verse also says there's going to be a wiping of tears from my eyes. There's a lot to consider, a lot of great wonder in our eternal home. And a thought just came to me, he sort of indicated that he wants us to have an abundant life on this side, too. Heaven. You ponder that. Pastor Steve.